sun's already been out an hour so you can see it was a it was a cold bugger last night yeah that's all frost and stuff so last night I um, I had the uh, decided not to turn the diesel heater on because I wanted to see the temperature difference between outside and inside so had to get at least to 30 degrees outside and it was 46 inside without any external heat so typically kind of what I've looked, done before in the past looks like it's about 15 degrees difference inside the Sun Raider now of course if it was accumulated cold just continuous continuous with no Sun coming out that would the cold would take over but uh, kind of get So when I'm burning hotter woods in this, a lot of times what will happen is the fire will go out and it'll just kind of smolder. Well, it didn't do it that time, but if you can get a flame going and then close it up, it's a little clouded right there. But as soon as you do that, it keeps the flame going, keeps it hotter, and then it will allow that wood to burn that's in there. What do you do, you silly girl? What are you doing, you silly girl? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. Here you are. You're my silly girl, aren't you? So we just uh, helped out the guys here at the Purgatory Rental Company. They had a side-by-side. -side. They got a bad, uh, well-blown tire slid in it. And uh, these guys had to come up and rescue it. And apparently, Good Samaritan tried to help them out and uh, stripped one of the lug nuts off. So we tried to pull that off first, couldn't do it. So I got out the old uh, tire repair kit and filled it with a bunch of uh, the pieces in there and got it to hold air. Got the pump and got it all pumped up. And uh, they're heading back, trying to get it back down to the shop. Hopefully it works out for them. Managed to get them all the way back into town, which was way cool. And one of the guys, Hunter, thanks man, um, they told me, they said, hey man, we're gonna bring you a six pack of beer. So I was like, yeah, sweet. Apparently this is from a local company in Durango, Ska Brewing Company of Durango, Mexican Lager. Thanks guys, I really do appreciate it. The car like that. <laughs> so these guys got us. It. What's the year on that? Thing? 95. It's a 95 yep. diesel. Turbo ah! diesel. Yep. Turbo ah! diesel. Three liter. That we can take a look so at the motor sick. if yeah, you want to. Yeah, we're definitely going to sure. go take a look at the motor. <laughs> For sure, man. What was your name, dude? Brad. Brad, I'm Nick. Nick, nice good to meet, to meet you, you man. man. Yeah, way cool. So how long have you been in Durango? Just a few few days? or? Um, No, I, I pretty much stay in this area quite a bit. I've been up here now man. for two months. Nice, man. I do like Lime Creek. Yeah, Lime Creek is gorgeous. Really love Lime Creek. I spent some time down there. And Durango's so close for uh, supplies. Yeah, I agree. So the car originally was red. They picked really? them in Japan for, um, uh, you know, they think they sell better in America if you go black or, or, really? or white or gray. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, you can see some of that. What a trip. Yeah, man. Cool little ride. I just did a valve cover gasket that's and stuff. That's clean, dude. Oh, you put a three row? Yeah, three row. Yep. Yeah, that's what I put in mine. Yeah, the only other one I've seen of these is uh, I was at a, my buddy's shop, Nichols Auto Fab, and he did a, uh, a custom piece on it, cut the whole oh, roof out, tent? and did one of those, uh, yeah, yeah the, ang the angled ones. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty that sick. Cool. Pretty sick setup. We got the Nissan said. going on over here. Yeah, and it's fully built to live out of it. He's got a cool little setup. Pretty serious. much lives yeah. out of it all Dude, summer. Dude, you want to? Yeah, totally. Yeah, let's check. What's your name? Chandler. Chandler Brad. Nice to meet you, Good Brad. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, it's been a fun rig. Well, for the longest time, they didn't have a lot of upgrades for these. They still don't. They still don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's a little messy right now. Oh, heck I yeah, dude. Last night. Do you mind? No, absolutely. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, it's... So check this out. So you live out of it. Oh, yeah, you do. Pretty much. So this is your bed area. Yep, yep. And Heck, yeah, dude. It's got dude. a little bit of extra food in it because uh, yeah. I'm going to be out all weekend. Got right. Well, you can always stuff. throw that exactly. up front or whatever up you need to move stuff around. Yeah. Heck, yeah, man. It's... I like your bunk thing up here, too. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. you've been all over the place. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Yeah, this car has Heck treated me yeah. really, really well. It's been a lot of fun. Look at this, man. This guy do some traveling. Heck yeah. Yep. Then and got it's the, got the 44 in it? Yeah. The rear axle? Yep. And then got the slide out for the fridge in the back, or the uh, kitchen setup in the back. Oh, nice. And just run a single bin in the back so I can kind of change things okay. around and the cabinet in there. Right. All the recovery gear under the fridge. It's the garage under the fridge and then all the bathroom stuff and just extra storage. Heck yeah, shower. dude. You got this thing dialed. Thank you. It's been a really, really, really. Oh, you got your uh, yep, water. water up here. <laughs> water. Heck yeah. I have the capacity to carry seven gallons in the box and then I, if I'm going on a longer trip. That's, I don't know if you saw, that's where I keep my fridge. Oh, do you in the Yeah, box? so I got the, yeah, I got the Dometic 75 quart and nice. it's just sitting right there. It's yeah. like, there's no reason, you know, she doesn't take up that much room. Totally. So it's like, why not? Yeah, Use absolutely. the space you got. Yeah, it's been a really fun car. I didn't expect to fall in love with a Nissan yeah. and I did. Yeah. I was going to use this as a stepping stone to get into a Forerunner or something. Now I'm like, Lil. well, this is my big rig now. Yeah. So, for sure, man. It's and perfect. really, you probably have more headroom, I think, than a I can sit completely up. Yeah. And that was one of the big goals. Yeah, because the way they come up like that. Yeah. I see yeah, a lot the of the you tighter. You have to do coffin setups. Yeah. And were you, were you at uh, the. How long ago were you over in Expo? I go every year. You go every year? Okay. Yeah. Um, when mine was there, there was a guy there with a front runner. Yeah. Do you remember him? Uh huh. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, he's not doing it anymore. He had to, he ran out of money and he had to go back and go back to work. But he was, yeah. He bought a van now. He bought a four by four van. Oh, cool. Yep. Yeah. So, he's, he's trying to get back out again, but it's like once you get stuck in that rut, it's you know, of, of having to. Yeah. It's put hard. the money together and stuff. It's it, it makes it rough for yeah. sure. Yeah, I've pretty much lived in this thing all summer. It's been okay. pretty great. Work up at Purgatory, so oh nice. You can just yeah. camp up behind there and drive down to work. That's cool. Yeah, it's Lily. Pretty perfect. That is cool. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so seasonal work, and then you can. Yeah, I graduated in December, so I've just been doing the seasonal work, and then after this winter ends, I'm gonna be heading down to Santa Fe and. Oh, wow. Doing some stuff down there. Okay. Yeah. Should be good, though. That's wow. definitely, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. And then Tacoma is nicely set up, too. Yeah, his Tacoma is awesome. <laughs> he's a good mechanic, so he's really built out that Tacoma. Yeah, that is a sweet rig. Yeah, we all three work sure. up in the vehicle maintenance shop. And oh, awesome. heck yeah, dude. Yeah. It's oh, pretty no cool doubt. working on snow cats, snowmobiles, oh, UTVs. That's it's awesome. a cool little job. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool little job. Heck yeah. Do they have any of the old cats? Yeah, we have a couple up top. Really? Yeah. Nothing oh, too crazy. Dope. Not like any tuckers no or anything. Right, okay. Some cool stuff. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So you guys just up here for the day? Yeah. Just well, I just saw junk. caught him to his house and I was like, what are you guys doing? Bowling? Okay, let's I've never done it. I was like, let's try right. it. <laughs> and then he's never done Ofer. I'd like to try and get that. Done yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. yeah. I want to go into Ofer. Have you guys done um imaging? I have not. I haven't you either. Have. Oh, I thought Tyler probably has. Yeah. I'm curious to it. see to see how how it was how it is if that would do it or not. Oh dude. I'm sure that would. Do you have lockers? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've got a rear locker and do I've got women <laughs> slip in the front. <laughs> well the big thing <laughs> is is uh, Side hill and yeah. when if I have to do an obstacle and side hill, yeah. it's a lot of heavy weight sure, up sure. top. That's what I concern over. Lily, stop. Tyler, have oh. you done uh, imaging? Yeah. Do uh, you think this thing could do it? Lil. How comfortable have you been? What have you done so far? Here goes the crew taking off, heading up to tell your ride to the sweet Tacoma. Later, guys. Bye. There they are, heading off. See you, bud. Right hand drive. Safe travels, Brian. All right, take care. Have a good one. Keep All right, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> what are the odds? These guys are up here. They're doing this trek from, I guess, from Colorado to Utah on mountain bikes. It's 
It's crazy, right? <laughs> but there's been quite a few coming through here, and I've been saying hi to most of them. And the one guy just comes right up, and it was so cool. What are the odds at the top of Bowen Pass? Two guys run into each other that both have 18-foot Toyota Sun Raiders. Yeah, I kid you not. So he was he was all uh, pretty stoked over checking this thing out. Uh, definitely like giving people inspiration, man. So get out there, and let's see what you do with your Sun Raider. tracks here, a lot of down trees. It's just pretty up here.
So another cool couple uh, got to meet and say hello to them and uh, we talked and it looks like they might be purchasing a property out in Montrose. They were looking at a place, they're from Denver and it was so sweet of them. Um, they offered me a grapefruit, but I'm not a big grapefruit fan. So they had these delicious peanut butter cookies. Thank you guys so much. I'm Best of luck on that property. I hope you get it and you uh, enjoy the rest of your time and maybe we'll see each other on the trail.